What's your thoughts when, when you see that? Um, the past two years we've been uh, selected to win it too, and as you guys all know, we haven't. So I think it just puts an edge on us, gives, gives a chip on our shoulder, and it's something we're excited to. If we get back to it, we'll get back to it. But that's as through a team, teamwork through that. So with that, you know, and, and you guys, you, San Diego State's the other preseason favorite, and that's kind of a rival for Boise State. You're a San Diego guy. Mm -hmm. uh, how excited are you to play against those guys? Oh, very excited. And those, they have a bunch of talented guys. We have a bunch of talented guys. Um, I just can't, I mean, we have the opportunity to play them. I, when we have the opportunity to play them, we're both going to play as hard as we both uh, can. So excited for that. Does getting on the preseason team mean, any, mean anything to you? No, not really. It's just a watch list or something like that. I got to prove it. So when we start fall camp or and right into the season, that's when I'll prove if I actually deserve to be on there. But the, you know, Rippin wasn't, but it was Josh Allen, you know, um, Obviously, pretty good quarterbacks in this league. It probably says a lot about them. Um, you know, what's your thoughts on that? Being a defensive guy and you know having you know Allen and Rippin and a lot of other quarterbacks in this league. They're both very talented quarterbacks. Josh Allen, he has his own uh, style. Uh, Brett obviously has his too. Um, don't really want to say much about our opponent right now, just knowing that he's a really good guy. I'm at the, but Brett's my guy. He's, he's a really state guy, so I'm gonna have to go with him. How do you feel like seeing Cedric Wilson not get nominated to the list? I think a bunch of guys deserve to be on that list, and for, for right now, it's, like I said, it's just a watch list. We got to just stay humble and keep eating and like keep grinding, and hopefully during the season, everybody will notice how, how uh, awesome of a player set is. Did you like the way the preseason coaches poll uh, came out? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, there's a, like I said, there's a bunch of other talented athletes who deserve to be on there as well, and we all deserve the same credit as some other people do. So. Like I said, we're just going to wait for the season to actually start, see how fall camp goes, and see where we go from there. How was the uh, travel down here? Coach Harson said that he likes to kind of spend a little time with you guys, too. You know, it's, it gets pretty chaotic here uh, in, in a few days, so the chance to kind of you know, just spend some one-on-one -on -one time with you and Brett's always nice. Yeah, uh, we spent uh, some time today, this morning, running decks and working out with Coach Harson before we came out here. So that was always a challenge. Um, but it was nice. Uh, we talked to Coach Harson. Figured out what we wanted to do and stuff like that. Just, uh, just he gave us the, what we should uh, say and stuff like that. See how excited we should be for the season. So stuff like that. Well, you guys worked out with him? Wait, so was he yeah, him? we worked out with him this morning. We ran decks by ourselves, but then he worked out with us in the weight room. Does, does he do that often with you guys? Oh yeah, okay. oh yeah. Okay. He's always with the offensive, offensive lineman and D lineman early in the morning. Mean for you to be down here representing the team and, and the defense and having a chance to kind of oh it's it's definitely a blessing you know just uh, being right here with uh, with Brett obviously and being uh, selected to come out here and represent Boise State it was really nice. But the, we talked to you in the, in, in the spring about it, but I'll kind of move in spots a little bit at the defensive tackle spot. You have you know Sonatane and and Emmanuel Facili next to you, bigger guys. Mm -hmm. how, how will that move help you and, and facilitate maybe you know maybe you know your skills better? I think playing a defensive tackle lets me use more of my speed that I was using at uh, nose. So just being out there and uh, contributing with Sam Whitney right next to me is a lot better than being in that middle position for me, especially for this year. But you were so productive there last year. I mean, that's kind of the that's kind of the crazy part is that you were out of position, but you're productive. I mean, you think you can be more productive in this in this new spot? I believe so. Wherever Coach Caldwell puts me or Coach Alvarez puts me, I believe. If I really just go at it, it'll be the same results. You know, you guys are going to talk tomorrow, so kind of trying to find certain storylines to follow. You, know, you look at uh, San Diego State, Fresno State, Nevada back on the schedule this year, and, and those are kind of three schools that have, have kind of worked their way, obviously, into a, a rivalry with you guys. And I'm just kind of curious, they, they all seem eager to, to have you guys back on the schedule. And what, what's your thought on, on those rivalries and, and getting a chance to be a part of them? I honest, honestly, I'm just very excited to play those teams. Those teams are really good. They're full of talent. They have a bunch of great players on their team. And when we do have the opportunity to play them, it will be a really good show.